All right, welding table part two. No electric boogaloo, however. So today I'm going to be building the extensions. Right now these are just the eight footers shoved through the pipe, but I'm going to be cutting these down, making the extensions and seeing if I can figure out a way to make them so that it's not possible for you to just yank it out and have it fall. But I'm not 100% sure how to do that. I've got an idea, but we're going to see if it works. And then I want to start on, if not build completely, the mechanism for lifting it up onto casters so that I can move it around. So this is going to be very simple. I'm just going to hack off some two foot lengths of this and it's going to be two two foot pieces slid in from each side because this is four feet and a piece of this same L heavy duty L channel welded across. That's literally going to be the sum total of the construction. Once I have a top on it, and I know how much taller that is, I will probably weld, like tack on something else on the top of it to make it the exact height of the bench. But for right now, I just am going to have it roughly the same height as this. Just that'll get me far enough. And then what I'm going to do to try and keep it from sliding out is I think what I can do is on, like not at the two foot mark, but a, like an inch or two in, um, weld a small piece of metal to the bottom or even just maybe put a bead there that is exactly big enough to just barely slide into here like you know it would be up that it would have to be up like that for that whatever I put on there to fit through and then just weld a small piece of metal like thick flat plate here holding it up and then that thing that I've welded on the underside won't be able to come out past this so these will be locked in there and if i ever need you know I'll just put it on with two tacks so if i ever need to take the sides out just cut those two tacks and it'll come off and i think that'll be a nice simple way to build the extensions that won't be a lot of pointless over engineering because when we get to it the caster design is probably going to be a lot of over engineering so i'm going to put you on time lapse and i'm going to get to it All right, so that's my three stops built. I don't know how obvious it was, but what it, what I just did for simplicity, since I wanted the stop to be at the exact same height on each one, was I lined them all up, I measured it, and then I just literally welded the bar across and then cut it apart. So each one of these, the distance from here to here is exactly the, sorry, the distance from here to here is exactly the same. These are two inches in, which is enough that when it's in, and the stop is at its stop. It's still plenty. I'm putting a bunch, like basically, yeah, see, I can lift the table up and it's gonna be nice and steady. What I'm gonna do is take the same stock that I used for that and just basically weld it across like that. And that'll hold that in there so this stop won't be able to go past. And that'll be it, that'll be these extensions. And then I'm just gonna cut, again, some two foot long L channels and weld the two ends together. There's my extensions done. They both, you have to kind of get them straight on and slide them to get them to go in. I'm gonna put some white lithium grease down the tracks, just spray it in there once I get to the stage where I'm no longer welding actively on this thing. And I lose a little bit of that distance because the part of the two foot length is still in the pipe there to keep it from being unstable, but I now have a welding table that expands out to 91 and a quarter inches. So seven foot, seven and a quarter inches. So that's gonna give me a lot more opportunities when building stuff. 
and yeah, I'm very happy with that. They pack away very neatly, so they're basically invisible. I'm going to clean up these corners. I'm just going to round them off a little bit so that this isn't a stabbing hazard. But other than that, those are done and dusted. So now I have to put wheels on this thing. So here's my roughest possible mock-up of how this is going to work. So this beam is positioned at the height where the wheel is like about an inch below. On this side, there's going to be a spacer and there's going to be a wheel the same height. That's important. Remember those are there because I can't hold this here the whole time. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have a pivot here so that this piece can do this. I'm going to have a second pivot here so that the smaller piece can do this. So that means that under the weight of the table, the these two pieces will be able to do this. And at that point, the two wheels that were here will be here. And these legs will be what's supporting the weight of the table and keeping it from moving. Because again, two pivots here. I'm going to put something here to make this one slide easier on that one. But that's the basic thing. And then the only other thing I have to do is have it so that when this one is down, there's a latching mechanism here that keeps this in place. Um, I've got an idea on how to do that. I don't know if I have the materials on hand. So that's the only part of this I'm not sure I can build tonight. But yeah, basically I'm going to weld some cut sections of round stock to this and then a separate piece to each of these to make my two pivots. I'm going to weld a cast around here. I'm going to weld a spacer and a cast around here. I think what I'm going to do is cut out a little bit of this over here and just weld a little piece of round stock in so that it's a rounded over corner that this other piece is rolling on. All right, so that's the wheel assembly basically built. I haven't put a latch on over here, but other than that, it's basically in. Um, works exactly as it should. This will pull up or be pushed up by the weight and be able to um, drop the legs down onto the ground. And then when I step on it, it'll push it down like that. Like I said, I just have to figure out a latching mechanism. I have an idea, but I'm, I'm also a little done for tonight. So I welded on my casters. I know you're not supposed to weld your casters on, but I did because I didn't want to try and figure out how to run bolts through in a way that wasn't going to become a problem at the top. And they were also welded on kind of off center because I wanted them not to be sticking out. So I may end up having to put some reinforcing, like a triangle piece on the other side to just keep the caster in place, but I don't expect to be using these that often. So we'll see if it doesn't work, I'll rebuild it with something else. Simple as that. But yeah, so this is all essentially built. I added these little wings at the last minute because I'm gonna, obviously with the bolts and washer and stuff, this will be a little tighter, but the alignment on these two isn't perfect. So that just sort of helps. Not so much guide it in as make sure that the weight's directly on it. Like, I don't want this to be 
you know, half off or something in such a way that they could twist and fall or something. Like this will just help minimize any chance of damage. This is actually a leftover piece from the Ectonopus roof rack. So yeah, um, I think I'm done for today because I basically have to duplicate this on the other side. And then I, again, have to figure out a latching design. So yeah, that's that's basically the wheel design. I will probably do the other side off camera just for my own simplicity. All right, more work on the table. I have reinforced this leg because I'm going to be using the hole in it as a mount point for the removable vise. So I just wanted to sort of beef it up every which way I can. This is the top off of my old bench and I just test fit it and it needs to be cut down by that much to be able to fit on here um, between the two um, slide out extensions. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and slice this off and then I need to figure out how to measure and mark the hole for the leg hole. Once I get the leg hole cut, I can basically just tack this onto the top of it so that if I need to remove it later, I just have to cut a few tacks because it doesn't. it's gonna mostly stay in place with its own weight but I don't want it to shift around, so I'm just going to put a few tacks here and there. So cut that down, cut a hole, tack it on, build the wheel assembly here, and then build a latch for both sides so that the wheels can stay down once they're deployed, and the table's going to be done. So yeah, that's it. We're, we're banging through this. And All right, so I am done. Table is complete. I decided to leave out the piece of plywood and just weld the top on. I think it'll be okay if it starts to warp because I'm banging on it too much. I'll buy a thicker piece of metal to replace it. This is, I cut this out. This is where the vise is gonna go. I'm gonna build basically a flat plate with a rod that's gonna drop into here that the vise is gonna want to so I can be able to easily just pull the vise out, put it somewhere else so I'll have the full tabletop. But the vise will be able to be mounted very quickly. I haven't built that yet because I don't have the metal for the top of it. But the top is on, it's tacked down. The lip that used to be this way on it is now just down that way for simplicity. I didn't feel like cutting it off. I have built the wheel mechanisms and they do work. And the whole table rolls around pretty good. There's some good quality casters. So I didn't get a good shot of me building these, but this is basically the latch mechanism. This top rod is long enough to stick out. I've got a bolt as a pivot here with a little sleeve welded to this piece. And there's a little triangle here so that as this piece comes down, it ramps on this and pushes it back. And then there's a spring at the bottom that pulls it back into position and locks it in. And you can kind of see it fits around it so that it holds it very solidly. This can't move far enough out without me forcing it. To release it, I just push and it drops down. Now it's on the legs. The wheels are taking none of the weight. It's good and solid. To move it again, I just push up, it catches it again, and the table can move around. It's gonna spend 90% of its life like that but it means that I can move it very quickly and easily without having to pull pins or bolt something on or 
crank something down or whatever. It's very quick and easy to move, which will encourage me to move it, which will make the table more useful. So yeah, that's it. That is done. Super happy with it. So what I'm going to do now, or tomorrow, because I'm tired, this bench is going to go out. It's just going to go on the curb. I'm going to move that in here, move some of the trash around it, clean it up a little so it actually fits well. And then I'll have a proper welding area that I can use much more easily. And here's the welding area with the table in place and everything cleaned up and organized. Now I've got the welder and the cart neatly stored underneath. I have my hyper useful welding table. I added a few more plates to fill in where the heights of things changed. I added a little flashing over there. Cleaned this corner up so that it's no longer just a dumping ground of mess. Yeah, so I've already done one quick little welding project on this. Very happy with it, and it's going to help me do a heck of a lot more in the future. Very happy with this project. I've been wanting a good welding table for a while, and I'm very happy with how this one came out. So yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.